TV. Today we're joined for Morning Coffee by Haisem Eid, the founder and managing director of Ideal. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks you, for having me. Thank you for joining us. And to kick things off, can you talk us through your morning routine? Um, I'm an early morning person. I usually wake up at 4.30 to be at the gym at 5.30. And then um, from there, I, I go straight to the stables. I, my hobby is, uh, is short jumping, mm -hmm. basically. I have a passion for horses. I love everything about horses, the sport itself. And um, the process to get to, to, the, to the short jumping ring, basically. Okay. I do compete on a weekly basis. The oh. season is uh, very intense from October till April. So during that period of time, there's competitions every weekend. Wow. So to be able to do this, I need to really be ready and practice on, on during the week. And obviously with my very busy schedule, I could only do this in the morning yeah. before everyone wakes up <laughs> to be at the office on yeah. time. I'm usually at the office between 9.30 to 10 to kickstart my day. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about why you opened Ideal and what was the, the idea behind it? Yeah, sure. Well, um, I'm a former hairdresser myself. I, I studied hairdressing in the UK with a renowned um, training academy. And um, I'm a color specialist as well. Uh, finished from the UK in London and I went back home to work in my, at my father's salon. So he's a hairstylist mm. himself. He's been in the business for many, many years. And his salon got awarded third best salon in the world in oh, 2005. Wow. Yeah. So I feel lucky to have this opportunity, yeah. having, having to gain this experience mm. in the salon. And uh, while working in the salon, I, I found that there was a lack of good quality tools. Basically, being a hairstylist myself, I needed quality tools, so yeah. I, I couldn't really find them. So I decided to create my own, pretty simple. And they say, if you don't <laughs> find something, you might as well create yeah. it. And that's really how the whole idea of Ideal started. Uh, I developed my uh, first curling iron back then. And, you know, it was to be, to be used in our salons and uh, recommended to our clients. And then through, you know, through our connections and uh, other hairstylists that yeah. we, uh, we connect well with, you know, they, they got to try it. It got a lot of positive feedback. One of the big key players in the market actually bought my whole stock and uh, distributed to their, to their salon partners. Yeah. And then when I, when I got this positive feedback about what, what I started, I thought, why not developing the whole range of tools? And yeah. this is how... Uh, Okay. Doing. And what do you think makes your tools different to others? Well, to be honest, uh, I, think, I think my passion for the industry and the know-how that we have uh, as a hairstylist myself and as well as my father, uh, and now my brother joined us, so Aww. he's in the business <laughs> as well. So as it runs in the family, I, I believe we have the know-how for the industry and uh, what a hairdresser needs and expects from it from a good quality tool. Yeah. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, it might sound pretty simple. We didn't invent uh, a hair dryer or a brush, but basically we made sure to add value to every single item we, we develop and yeah. make it may, maybe uh, easier to use, uh, better, mm -hmm. uh, higher temperature, yeah. for instance, and all these sort of stuff. Obviously it doesn't come overnight. There's a lot of, um, uh, it's a lengthy process behind mm -hmm. behind every every production. We make sure it's safe to use, and uh, the concept of Ideal is to uh, develop hair tools that you can use at your own uh, uh, home as well. Okay, so yeah. you don't go to a hairdresser yeah. and they create this beautiful look using this professional tool, and yeah. then you go to any uh, store and you yeah. buy a random tool and, and expect never, to have a similar yeah. result. So it is basically an item to have with you when you're traveling at home and so on. So okay. That's... All right. Cool. And what advice would you give to aspiring entrepreneurs? Maybe knowing when to say no to to, to certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this chaotic world, it's it's pretty tempting to yeah. to have to develop a fear from saying no to to certain yeah. uh, uh, things. And obviously differentiating between grabbing the right opportunity and letting go some other, uh, you know, different yeah. occasions. Okay. And what would you say is your biggest achievement so far? I think Ideal by itself, it, mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been an easy journey. Yeah. It, it's pretty challenging. 
developing a local brand uh, in a way positioned against other international yeah. brands this this has been uh, challenging yeah okay and what do you still want to achieve um i honestly don't necessarily have an answer to this because <laughs> i think i would limit myself by by setting yeah. some i mean i know you need to have a plan for everything and uh, set goals and yeah. stuff like that which obviously i have in place but um I wouldn't like to limit myself, yeah. especially in this very fast-moving world, online world, uh, digital world. So, uh, yeah, but maybe, maybe grosso modo, I would say that I would like to think that Ideal one day can be the most admired brand, if I, if I may say. Okay. And we know you travel a lot. You have the, the salon in Beirut as well, so you're back and forth all the time. Yeah. What do you think traveling brings to you as a person? What do you learn? Well, um, traveling really is you know enriches my soul basically it's uh, it's amazing to connect with different people learn about other different cultures and um, uh, you know i i believe there's always an opportunity to learn something yeah. to uh, there are sometimes business opportunities networking opportunities uh, learning stuff and uh, really just uh, you know see what's happening out there Okay, and who inspires you the most? Uh, f first and foremost must be my father. Mm -hmm. uh, it probably sounds like cliche, but <laughs> honestly he does. I mean, uh, he started his, his journey from nothing and yeah. he built it up to the top. And, um, you know, the achievement he made in his career is, and his determination mm -hmm. really inspires me a lot. And uh, Thanks to him, I'm I'm here. You know what, I'm doing what I'm yeah. doing today without uh, his support, my mother's support, and the whole family, yeah. and a lot of other supporters. Yeah. My wife, everyone I can name, a long list. But uh, you know, he's been a, a, a real example for me. Okay, and do you have a personal motto? Um, probably just be humble, be yourself, and. Honestly, it's pretty simple. Okay, and what about a professional one? Would it be different? Yeah, professional, I think I, I'd like to say, you know, be accountable for your actions, mm -hmm. be responsible, and it's only you who's responsible and for what you do. Okay, yeah. cool. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would, you, what would it be? Work more, <laughs> work harder. I mean, don't misunderstand me. It's, I, I started working at a fairly early age, but um, what I think, you know, and I was working full time, mm. nine to six. You were working late hard hours, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> but I think, you know, at that stage, I now probably realized that I could have done a lot more when I didn't have family, when I had less yeah. commitments. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think every, everyone should grab the opportunity to give their best when they can and uh, uh, maybe enjoy it a little bit more later. Okay. It's going to pay off. And what would you tell yourself 10 years from now? Um, I'd like to think that I'm proud that I have followed my gut. Um, I, I so much believe in gut feeling and... Uh, I don't know, when, when it comes to decision making, I, I follow my gut feeling and I'd like to be proud of that in 10 years time. Okay. Without regrets. Okay. And um, we touched on this a little bit already, but what do you say no to? I would say no to insincerity. Okay. And for our final question, how would you like the world to remember you? Um, tough one. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I, maybe someone that added value to 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 anything in in, in someone so someone's life you know i played a positive role or you know by by having met the this person if if i added any anything positive that's a, that's how i'd like the world to remember me okay perfect that's our final question thank you so much for joining thank us for today thank, thank you. you and thank you for watching we'll see you next time